Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to do getting ready for bed in the California Grand. So whether you're looking at the 600 or the 680, uh, it's going to be the, pretty much the, the same process between them. Obviously we're going to use the 600 behind me because uh, we can show you the bed upstairs as well. Uh, so for me when getting ready for bed, uh, the front windscreens and the side windows in the cab area are the first things uh, that I would start to do because the rest of the rest of the covers around them are just blinds that you can pull up and pull down so it's very easy and quick to do those where uh, the front ones is a little bit uh, more tricky to do. So uh, let's start with those. So there's three components you've got to that. You've got two for the outside windows which is the same as what's in the ocean and coast uh, and I thought we'd leave these as, a, as this is a brand new showroom model we've got in here. Uh, so these are still in the packet. So you get two packets, one for either side. Uh, you just take the uh, out of the packet, it's new, and then inside there as well, make it nice and easy. It's basically the same size as the door. So I'm going to fit that now onto the door on the outside. Uh, if you're not sure which way these goes on, there is a label, and it says uh, right hand side one. Uh, so the labels on the inside as you put it round, uh, but it works the same as all these. The magnetic, so. Let you just pop it up to the side there, run it round, and then pop your bits in the middle down there. And then obviously if I shut that window door now, uh, you can't see it at all through there. So that's the two door ones taken care of. Uh, as you see from there, I've done them from the outside and from the inside. Uh, it's well, obviously if it's pouring down with rain, you're going to want to do it from the inside. Uh, and then for your main windscreen, uh, you'll have a packet that looks like this. Uh, which has got some pegs in the side, oh, sorry, some poles in the side, I should say. Uh, and these poles are a bit like tent poles, and they just lock in together. So you should have one and two, and they go into the canvas material that's on here to create the, the front windscreen. Now I'm just going to lay this out in the back for a minute, and then we can show you a picture of it so you know what it looks like. Uh, so looking at this here now, uh, this is the top of the windscreen at this far end here. These things here are to do with your sun visors and we'll show you those on the vehicle. But your, your poles that are in here basically go up through these holes here, so they're on both sides. Put the bottom section, in, whoop, put the bottom one in first because that's the longer of the two. And then the top one, you're just pulling that over in the gap and that gives that a rigid edge that's on there as well. And then you can do exactly the same thing on the other side. To start with, I've done it very quickly. Now I've taken the headrest off purely so that you get a better view uh, of what's going on here. You don't need to take the headrest off yourself, uh, but I've done that so you can actually see what's going on. So as we were looking on the bed at the back, these are the bits here which go over the uh, sun visor and then the strap on here goes over the sun visor and then your pole is in the corner. So your pole is what's going from the top to the bottom of the windscreen. Uh, that's there and then the rest of the canvas is flowing down and over your actual dashboard itself. Right so starting from square one you know what the end result is going to look like. First things first, sun visors down and just pull them out of the catch on both sides so they've got a bit of free movement that's in there. Uh, obviously it says I've already put the poles in on here and I've got them lined up so that the top end here is what's going to go into the sun visor if that makes sense so let's just going to put them at the front pull it off to the side and put it in right into the into the corners that's there and then start with the the one that's on here so as I said I move this forward I would put this end in first so I'll loop that across like that and then with your plastic on the other side the tape put it to on there and then obviously then you can put your pole where you want that to be in the corner that's there and then you'll see in the corner here obviously you can put that back clip that back into your top position just pop it back up and that gives it some height obviously then for it to fold straight down onto the side and then the other side is exactly the opposite so I'd start at this side here again putting this in move over to the other side and put your strap around, it's in there, you can put this back into your hook and then put your 
into the corner and push it up and there you go completely fitted the only one thing I would say when you're putting these together is give yourself lots of room when you do it uh, so if your seats are already swivel around because it's been during the day I'd pull them forward so it gives you lots of room then in here and obviously you can get into the middle section as well quite easily uh, and obviously put it around from on there if you just arrive somewhere at night uh, and you're going to be going straight to sleep for example you, it'd be easier to do this with the seats not swiveled around actually you'll have a lot more room then to get in and do your sun visor and things like that so you could do that and then swivel your seats around if that's what you're doing as well so depending on what type of day and things like that that you're going with so hope that all makes sense and you can see how it's supposed to be that's on there uh, you definitely can't see in uh, you can't see in from anywhere there so it's completely shut out uh, and as I said, I said earlier this is where I would start with for the getting ready to bed um, side of things because you can still have all your windows open on the side and on the back so you've still got lots of natural light still coming in even though this area here uh, is darkened off as well so you can then add bits as you go along uh, so let's move on to the next step so the next thing is going to be your windows uh, so we've mentioned this before on your windows but obviously on your windows you've got blinds on your top section here is, is your fly screens obviously that does make it a bit dark it's harder to see in but to get it completely blacked out you just pull them up like so uh, and obviously you've got the window here you've got the window on the side door which we'll do in a minute uh, obviously Tim's filming me from that angle at the moment so I need that open uh, and then as we move to the back of the vehicle we'll just give these ones here let's get those lifted up as well and then once we shut the side door that's everything around the vehicle uh, with that actually all completely darkened off there and nobody can see in at all obviously you notice we've got our two roof vents that are up here Uh, now the roof vents themselves, uh, obviously you could have them open, you could have them shut uh, depending on how much air and things like that you wanted to let in uh, obviously you might not want to close them completely in the dark um, you might want to leave those to the last to actually close them up and get it all dark in there uh, but again these are exactly the same as the windows, no different so uh, obviously one is your fly screen and then the other one for darkness is that one here uh, so that comes across again, completely blocks out the uh, uh, completely blocks out the outside light and then we'll just move to the front and do the front one as well okay so we've got everything closed off now all the vents are closed at the top they're all shut uh, all the side windows are done so nobody outside is now can see in uh, obviously i've got all the lights on as well uh, that's on here so uh, first off just have a quick look at the bed uh, behind me here uh, so if you're getting this one ready for bed we've shown this many a times on how to do it uh, but essentially you've got your ladder so you need to remove your ladder and take your ladder off ready to actually get up and get onto the bed that could just go on the on the dual bench seat uh, for a second that's on there to move the bed out you just press that button and pull it forward and then that comes down to uh, the position it would be now if you need the child bit that's in here which looks like this so I turn it around the other way it looks like this that comes on here it is easier to put this up before you pull the bed out because uh, this locates in these ones here so you've got one two three uh, which it goes around as in there for so and those are your three one two and three and i'll just put them up now uh, so these just clip in here one two and three so you only need this obviously if you've got children in the upper bunk and i mean younger children that's there as well so just give this a pull the bed comes down clip over the bed section that's there and then these then go around different sections on here so if I show you on here you can see here there's two little loops so that goes in there it's velcroed round velcroed around there one at the top here Uh, so this is how it's supposed to be so obviously if you've got children in this upper bunk they won't be able to roll they'd roll to this and that would obviously then stop them from rolling out and through the the hatch that's in there so i'm going to remove this completely now so we can show you the rest of the space there's your, the bed completely done upstairs obviously imagine it's got um, a duvet or some sleeping bag probably sleeping bag or something like that if you've got children depending on how many children you've got that's up there as well uh, i'll put a link to the video we've done explaining this bed and i'm showing you there uh, check me out <laughs> I did get up there myself as well so have a look at that video and how the uh, the ladder system works as well so uh, I'm going to put this back for a minute just to give ourselves a bit more space 
And if there's only two of you, for example, and you haven't got children or you're, you're not using this bed that's up here. At this point now, obviously, you probably finish off your evening in your living space area uh, and then we'll do a roll reversal. Me and Tim will swap round now and I'll come down the bottom end and uh, I'll have a look at the, uh, the bed area. Uh, so you're going to have to imagine for the moment that you've got your duvet and you've got your pillows etc that's on here uh, so you're pretty much all ready for bed obviously if you've got anybody in the upper bed they're probably already in there uh, that's there you're going to call it a night uh, so last thing to do is turn off your cabin lights which is just this one here so you press that and all your lights will fade out all around there and then you're just down onto the the area here and you've got your two individual lights which are done so you can turn them off by turn this one off first there and then turn this one off here and there we go, all nice and dark. Uh, final thing, I don't know whether you noticed it or not, but uh, our showroom model now, we've actually got the California Grand carpet set that's in here. Um, so you can see, we move that one out of the way, but um, uh, the carpet set that's here, which is an option you can get from Volkswagen. Really deep filled carpet, goes all the way throughout here and down the side. You get a mat for outside and you get one for your shower. Uh, so when you come out of the shower back on as well, there's a mat there. Uh, that's, that's with the set as well, and then I said you've got front carpet ones as well. Uh, as I said that's an optional extra, uh, put it in the showroom one because I think it's quite nice, it just adds an extra depth to the vehicle, um, just keeps away from that, that flooring, keeps it nice as well, it's nice to walk on. At night time as well, as I said, if you're getting ready for bed and things like that as well, you've probably got no shoes on and things like that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. You looked at what you need to do as far as closing your blinds are concerned, things like that, making it sure that it's all there, and cover the front windscreen ones as well. Uh, you will notice if you've seen the ocean and coast and beach variations, uh, they're very, very similar in the way that they work. Obviously, the front windscreen one is probably the big difference between them. Uh, the one nice thing, I suppose, about the Grand compared to the ocean coast is You've got a lot more room in there so it's a bit more easier to move around and do these things uh, and it certainly doesn't take very long to uh, to get them ready and get it doing from there well i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have give us a thumbs up give us a like as always um, if you've got any comments anything you've not covered that you'd like to know information of put in the comments box below and we'll do a q a session very shortly and get those answered as well uh, and we'll see you next time